It's said to be one of the worst killer bee attacks in US history, though luckily there were no fatalities. Join me in today's story as we talk about the 1998 Bisbee, Arizona killer bee attack. Bees. Bees are a very important insect to both nature and to humanity, helping us out both ecologically and commercially. From the honey we eat, the beeswax we use for cosmetic reason, to the pollination of plants that help the environment. Bees are very, very important. But just as important as they are, they're also quite the nuisance because every year an average of 62 people are killed by bees. This is mainly because bees will take up shelter in almost any place that they can find. That even includes homes. And while there is a rough estimated 20,000 known species that range from carpenter bees, honey bees, bumblebees, the most deadliest one of all is the Apis mellifera, or as we all know it as, the killer bee. The history of the killer bee is quite an interesting yet scary one, for it is said the killer bee was created around 1956 when biologists crossbred honeybees from Europe with bees from South Africa. Somehow, these crossbred bees escaped from where they were and migrated all over the world. Unlike your typical average honeybee, killer bees are far more defensive and ultra, ultra aggressive. Their attacks are far more deadlier as well because of the coordination. And it has always been stated that whenever encountering a nest of bees, the safest thing for you to do is to call the local exterminator or beekeeper. To try to take on such a task yourself is not only a bad idea, but can prove to be dangerous to others. Such is the case of the story I'm going to be talking to you about today, and it goes as follows. Bisbee, Arizona, a small town known for its mining back in the 1880s, now turned regular with little over 5,000 in population. Bisbee is mainly your typical everyday small town now. But back in 1998, it was home to one of the largest killer bee attacks in the world. According to a story told by the local bee remover expert, Reed Booth, one day on Brewery Ghost Street, a business owner was checking up on one of his places when they noticed bees coming out of the wall. Instead of contacting the professionals, the owner decided to take care of the problem themselves, thinking that it was no big deal and that it was only a few bees. So they sprayed bug spray into the wall. This disturbance, however, caused the bees to go into defense mode where they came out of the wall in droves. The owner realizing that this was a huge mistake, luckily left the building unscathed and went back home waiting for the bees to calm down before returning. Little did they know, they had just stirred up a killer bee's nest and it was in full on rage mode. As the bees poured out of the building, they began to attack anything and anybody in the vicinity. 911 and Reed Boot were eventually called, but by that time, the town was already in a panic. According to one responder when they arrived, the moment he opened up his door, he was immediately attacked by the swarm. He was sung so badly, he had to be rushed to the hospital to be treated for over 100 stings. Reed Booth himself described the scene as looking like a war scene. Cars were abandoned, clothes were discarded everywhere, and the bees were attacking people, animals, car tires, just about everything. They say that the attack lasted for over three hours before the bees were finally contained. But by that time, eight people were hospitalized, but luckily there were no fatalities. And this wouldn't be the last time Bisbee or any place in Arizona 
would ever have such an attack. I think the most recent attack was back in September 2011 where they ended up killing a thousand pound hog. And like how I mentioned earlier, killer bees are the most aggressive and deadliest species of bees known to mankind today. But yet they still are to be respected, taken care of, and they are very important to the ecological system. But if you ever encounter killer bees or any type of bee whatsoever, don't try to take on a job yourself. Always leave it to the professionals. To do so unprofessionally can not only be harmful to yourself, but harmful to others as well. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, then hit that like button, share with everyone you know, comment in the comment section below by leaving your thoughts and future requests of things that you would love me to go over, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is Psycho Rick saying until next time. Thanks for watching.